What's up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again. Happy New Year. Tuning in to the Games Reverse DL channel. Today we are going to talk about the O'Clock Vita by Fran Garch. New Overclock plugin. What can Overclock Vita do? Well, can Overclock PS Vita slower games for a smoother gameplay and better performance? Compatible with Taihan and Taihankaku or Hankaku. Tried Retro Arc and PSP games, but it did not work. So it only works for the PS Vita VPK games, which is still pretty cool. So the old clock installation. So download the files from the GitHub. So we go to the developer's GitHub and then we're going to download the file. Now we're going to put the O'Clock Vita to RX in the folder, inside TIE folder. So now we're going to put it inside the TIE folder, the file that we just downloaded, O'Clock Vita Soup RX. I'm just going to override that information since I already have it. I'm gonna make some changes in the config text. So now for you guys to see a little example that I already have it in the tie folder. There you go. Now we're, what we're going to add to the config text within the type folder Hashtag title ID for your game This is for root letter for example We're going to have to write that in there I'm going to use Street Fighter My game ID is PCSE0005 Also you can see this information in the app UXO app information this is where you see all your PlayStation Vita games. As you can see, I have uh, quite a few. I'm just double checking here if it's the Street Fighter. Just remember UXO app. So here's a little glimpse on how the config text should look. Title ID for your game. This is the root letter for example PCSE0005 and then you're gonna put UXO tie o'clock vita dot soup rx as you can see you can add more just keep on writing the same thing you just change the game ID here's another example of how it should look on the PlayStation Vita can see it's just repetitive just copy and paste just change the game ID remember this will not work with Retro Arch and or PSP games so now another example here on my PlayStation Vita how I have it laid out can see I have multiple it's just repetitive since I have many games so I just keep on adding for some more and of course as you can see I'm using my PlayStation 4 controller to control my PlayStation Vita which is pretty cool Now we're going to reload Taihan config text through molecular shell. Just press start and then we're just going to reload Taihan config text. Press OK. That's all we need to do. Now let's try a game. Now to activate, we're going to press select and up. 
that activates the menu and to close it select and down and I'm going to be using Street Fighter cross Tekken Okay, back to normal speed. I'm going to launch the menu, select and up. At the same time, and now you can see it'll give you like uh, max battery, uh, the default, the CPU 333 MHC, and the max. Let me do it with the controller. As you can see, 444. That's the max performance. And now we're going to close the menu, down and select at the same time. Closes the menu. Let's check if it's saved. Up and select. As you can see, we are at the max performance. Now we close it again, and we're going to do some gameplay. So back then, when I didn't used to have this plugin, it used to lag a little bit in that section. And in this section it used to lag a little bit too. So I mean the field's pretty good. I mean it was good already, but now I mean it, it feels pretty good the game just play playing it. pretty cool so enjoy gamers hit like comment subscribe gamer rebirth out